What up, man? Just make this shit quick. You see this shit? G unit, right? I, I'm a hater, though. You know? You see that? You dig? You see that? You see? You see that? And all the other new shit that I bought from 50 Cent. So I've never been a hater. So the nigga that took time to comment on that shit, all y'all motherfuckers commenting on that shit and saying some sucky shit, it's all good. I'm not mad at that. You know what I mean? That's like the only video of the Beauty of Independence review with 28 dislikes. I don't care about that. I mean, y'all niggas sitting here saying that that shit was dope or was who's the better group out. I mean, you got plenty of groups that's better than these niggas, man. Like, I'm not hating on them. G-Unit is not who the fuck they used to be. Everybody know that. Yeah, they one of the biggest rap groups ever. You know what I'm saying? Not ever, but out in the new millennium or whatever. You know what I mean? So that's cool, but they not as relevant as what the fuck, like... Y'all saying it is And if that was the case Right Everybody's jumping on the bandwagon Right Why 50 didn't at least go platinum On his first independent release As far as animal ambition Right So how y'all sitting there? I'm not saying everybody You know I, The six people that did like the video Salute to y'all And the people that watched it Right So I'm just saying that If everybody's saying I'm a hater Then why is it that Y'all not supporting You know The, the people that y'all saying I'm a hater of Even Cassidy Right Look I'm Remember this album, dope as fuck, you know what I'm saying, deluxe edition, you dig, so how am I a hater, if y'all niggas were supporting them and feel like, you know, they were so relevant, none of these niggas projects would have been flopping, they would have stayed in that bracket of gold or platinum success, you know, Curtis took how long to go platinum, you know what I'm saying, Buck, what about Buck, you know what I'm saying, if, if Kid Kid was so tough and so much of a genius, why Wayne didn't fuck with him like that? I don't know the situation, what happened, if he left, Wayne dropped him, whatever. So, y'all niggas are sitting there tripping, and it's just like, okay, they came to do some music organically, and it was supposed to be a mixtape, then they put it out. It did 15,000 copies, it's probably still rising, they made a quarter of a million dollars, that's still cool, I'm not hating on that, but they ain't as relevant as, you know what I'm saying, they used to be, and let's keep it real, nigga, 50 is a businessman, he got all them niggas under contract, so what really can they do? What can they do? They ain't had no fucking choice but to do the reunion. 50 not even relevant as he used to be. You know what I'm saying? So who does it really help? They help each other. I understand that as a business mind, that's great. Music, relatively, they're not that fucking relevant. Lloyd Banks was supposed to do a mixtape series with drama. Remember the value FNO type shit or whatever? It was supposed to be three volumes. We only got one. So everything 50 saying when he threw all them under the bus, it's true. He humiliated all these niggas in front of the world, nigga. And they tucked their tails between their legs and went back. Because they had no fucking choice. Go watch every interview, nigga. Banks can keep saying, oh, I'm a laid back type of nigga. He look happy, unhappy than a motherfucker. Yayo is still mad, but he only can say certain shit. Buck just happy that he out of debt and shit like that. You know, and a free man. But let's keep it real, man. That music is not the hardest shit. You know what I mean? That one song... That Buck put out was dope as fuck. They even hated on Jesus, nigga. That shit hard as fuck. To me, that song better than everything on that fucking EP. You know what I'm saying? So let's get it, not get it fucked up. Y'all looking at it as it's just so dope. That's like six joints. All of them is not hot, man. Y'all show me another reviewer on YouTube that reviewed that joint and said it's fucking crazy. You know what I'm saying? The real niggas that, that do, uh, the old heads that do reviews, a uh, needle drop, um, Topaz, Dead Ain't Hip Hop, man, these niggas ain't talking about that shit, cause that shit is not relevant, let's keep it real, do we give a fuck about 50 Cent still, I buy music because I'm a fan of music, and you know, that's just what I do, you feel me, but even I know he ain't as relevant as he used to be, you feel me, when you go from a major situation to going independent, remember when 50 used to diss niggas that was going indie and all that shit, calling Costa Graveyard, now he's independent and acting like it's a better move. Well, if it was a better move, why you signed to a major deal anyway, nigga? Let's keep it real. When you go indie, if you don't come in the game like that, it's showing that you're no longer relevant in the mainstream area. Let's keep it all the way to fuck real. You feel me? They not you're not marketable no more, so they ain't putting money into you. Lloyd Banks did that independent album, Fifty helped them and pick the situation up, but that's just because he wasn't charting and making money no more, so they ain't you know they dropped them. You know what I mean? So I mean y'all niggas looking at it as one way, it's cool, but that is not the dopest music out, man. Real shit. But don't call me a fucking hater for having an opinion, nigga. It's my opinion on what the fuck I feel about the EP. It was cool. But it wasn't all that, you know what I mean? It was okay. You dig what I'm saying? At the end of the day, 50's a better businessman. 
than those niggas. They did everything on their own and barely went anywhere. So how is it gonna change now that they're back as G Unit? Did it work for Dipset? Come on, man. Y'all niggas will kill me with that shit. But if you feel like I'm a hater, then do what I do. Do a review on that fucking EP and send me the fucking link. You dig? Other than that, y'all shut the fuck up, man. Shout out to the real subscribers. Shout out to the real fans and followers and shit that fuck with me. And no, I'm not mad. I'm just stating a fucking opinion. Now, if the next EP come out and that shit dope as fuck, I fuck with it. Did y'all not see my Animal Ambition goddamn review? Y'all seem to love that shit, right? But I'm not sitting here being biased. If I feel something is whack and it's not cool, I'ma say that shit. I guarantee you if I'd have sat there and did the review and said that shit dope as fuck, it's hard. I'd have got nothing but fucking love, right? Or then people would, oh, that shit was whack. That's it. I'm just saying the shit y'all scared to say. Are y'all listening to that shit right now? Is it in y'all goddamn phones? Y'all bumping that shit right now? Get the fuck out of here with that shit, man. Y'all niggas kill me with that shit. It's my opinion like anybody else. I can't even find a fucking review of this shit on YouTube other than me and a couple other people. You feel me? Go to their pages and talk that dumb shit. I do this. You motherfuckers kill me with that hating shit. But then I, I, I 